what an appendectomy is and a tonsillectomy. How about a phrenectomy? If it sounds like the removal or alteration of some kind of tissue, you're on target. This video explains how a phrenectomy may resolve certain conditions in the mouth that can lead to trouble. A frenum is a small fold of skin or membrane that connects more movable parts of the oral cavity, like the lips, cheeks, or tongue, to the more stationary jaw and gums. The frenum under your tongue is called the lingual frenum. When the lingual frenum is too large, it may impair the patient's speech and restrict the movement of the tongue. This condition is sometimes known as tongue tied. The labial frenum is located between the two front teeth. It connects the upper lip to the maxilla or upper jaw. When this frenum is too large, it may interfere with the orthodontist's ability to move the teeth into alignment. In some cases, an untreated labial frenum may result in other problems, such as the resorption or dissolving of the bone in this area of the mouth. Many times, an orthodontist will refer a patient to the oral and maxillofacial surgeon for removal of the labial frenum. Where a frenum is left between teeth, it may be impossible to bring the teeth together. Sometimes, the bone between these teeth can actually fail to form or dissolve away. The most common phrenectomy recommended by an orthodontist involves removing the extra tissue between the upper two front teeth. The removal of the labial frenum may allow the closure of a gap between these teeth. In the lower jaw, removal of an excess lingual frenum allows normal tongue mobility. If left untreated, restricted tongue function can cause adverse changes in tooth position, jaw development, and sometimes in speech. Before the surgery, I couldn't really move my tongue very well, and the piece of skin under my tongue was pulling too tight on it. When the orthodontic patient comes to the oral and maxillofacial surgery office for a consultation before a phrenectomy procedure, the surgeon takes a history, conducts a physical examination, and reviews any pertinent radiographs. The procedure is explained and an appointment for surgery is scheduled. For surgery, it's very important that the mouth be clean. We ask patients to brush and floss their teeth as usual. Sedation may be required, especially for young children. So ask your surgeon about restrictions on eating and drinking before surgery. Finally, it's best to go to surgery wearing loose and comfortable clothing. They cut away the skin, a little bit of the skin, underneath my tongue that was pulling it back. It worked out very well. Now I can move my tongue a lot more, and I can get pieces of food that might get stuck in my teeth. The prime outcome is a balanced environment for the developing teeth and jaws. This balanced, soft tissue environment supports not only the establishment of proper tooth and jaw position during treatment, but helps us maintain these changes long term. For more information about a phrenectomy, talk to your orthodontist or your oral and maxillofacial surgeon.